Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to show you guys here in this video how to set up your uh, Logitech game controller to uh, be able to play Minecraft. So um, basically this works with just about any of these uh, Logitech game controllers that I'm going to kind of show you here. So I'm going to put this link in the description and then what you're going to do is find your controller that you have. And I think all of these things basically have the same software that we're going to use. So you find your controller, click on it, and then you're going to get to this page. You're going to pick your OS from this menu. And then it's going to narrow this stuff down to one piece of software. You get the 32 or 64 bit, whatever you have uh, for Windows installed and then download this beast so it's called Logitech gaming software I'm just gonna run it you can save it do what you will and then it's gonna install the software pretty soon here here we go so we're gonna accept all of this junk install what have you it's gonna find my uh, device and then finish up the install found my device and uh, let's see yep everything is working here whoa crazy vibrate mode and finish done all right so this is the software here now i already have a uh, profile but i'm going to start a new one so we're going to call this one minecraft 2. now what we're going to do is you have to find the exe file so in this case we're trying to get it to work with minecraft so you find the minecraft exe file click on that and then you this is the little picture that it's going to be represented in the software so pick one of them I pick this here um, sure why not uh, okay so now all of these things here is how you configure the actual buttons on the game controller to be acting as something so in this case we're gonna have up down left and right be controlled by we could do the d-pad or we could do the axis thing here but I like to do the axis thing so the x-axis we're gonna do a new axis assignment and now uh, oh you know what first we have to go into here and we're gonna have to uh, record some keystroke information so we need W we need S we need A and we need D and you know what we're just gonna do all of the keypads that we're gonna be using here so Q E shift press uh, space what else do we need okay we need all of the number buttons so from one through nine there we go so one through nine we've got the movements that's pretty much it. Oh no, wait, sorry, we also need control. And control press, I guess, sure. All right, so those are the main buttons for, uh, for Minecraft. So here we're going to be axis left and axis right. Left is A, so we assign this to A. Axis right is D, assign that to D. We're gonna call this left right 
just so it shows up here as something legible. So now forward is going to be W, backward is going to be S. Call this forward, backward, sure. And now the other main buttons is going to be the the mouse, essentially. Uh, first, we're going to go with a new zone assignment. Or no, sorry, that's not it. Axis properties. Yeah, here we go. Axis properties, I think. So now, uh, right stick X axis, we're going to go with the mouse X axis. And then right stick Y is going to match the mouse Y. So now this uh, right joystick thing is going to move the mouse around. Now the mouse buttons, which are left click and right click, we're going to do buttons 7 and 8, that's the big buttons on the bottom of the controller here. So we're going to have 8 do the main uh, left button mouse functions and this one do the right button functions. So to place blocks is going to be 7 on the left hand side. You can put them however which way you want. I like to do it this way. And then uh, what else do we have? We need jump. So button 2 is going to be jump which is spacebar. Uh, button 1 is going to be get rid of an item which is Q. Uh, button 3 is going to be the menu button E. And this is going to, oh we need another, let's add another one here, escape. Which is going to be the start button here. Add escape. And now crouch, which is, let's get these uh, joystick buttons. Here we go. These are the joystick buttons. I like to have crouch on button 12. So that's going to be shift, crouch, and then uh, button 11 is going to be control, which is run, or sprint, or whatever you want to call it. Now I think that's pretty much it. No, hold on. <laughs> that's not it. So 1 through 9, that's going to be picking the different slots for all of your items. So because we can't um, use, or we can't assign anything to an actual mouse scrolling wheel, so we have to do a kind of workaround. So buttons 5 and 6 is going to be our thing here, and we're going to do what's called a cycle command. Now the cycle command means that, um, here let's start with button 6. Every time you click button 6, it's going to cycle through all of these different buttons here. So the workaround is going to be that we're just going to keep on flipping through from 1 through 9, and then once it reaches 9, you click button 6 again, it's going to start back at 1 again. And it's just going to keep going and going in a cycle form. Uh, where were we? Here we go. And then same thing for button... Ooh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's edit this and name this. 1 through 9. Now button 5. Cycle command. Call this 9 through 1. Because we have to do this backwards. Nine through one. Okay. Now I think that is everything. Uh, let me just double check. I think. Yeah, sure. That seems like uh, what we have to do. So now the next thing is to go into this uh, global profiler settings. You have to do this for this to work properly. Is go down to here and put apply 
persistent profile and put it on two or whatever you named this profile for Minecraft and then hit OK and then everything should be good to go all right so lastly I'm just gonna demonstrate that it actually works so go ahead and launch uh, Minecraft you can do it within this program like I just did or you can load it up the old-fashioned way and we're gonna hit play and this uh, right now I'm using the joystick you can use the um, these profiles outside of Minecraft itself it doesn't actually have to be Minecraft loaded for it to work like that but anyways um, so now we are in the game we're using the controller go into here double click and as you can see moving around moving the mouse around oops dropping blocks breaking blocks jumping dropping blocks on the ground going in the inventory etc etc flipping through the things flipping them the other way now the sucky thing is that because we have to do this workaround with the cycle thing is that let's uh, see right now I'm on hopper and with the mouse wheel when you scroll you move either left or right from this hopper now because we're using this workaround um, using this button six we're scrolling right but this remembers where the six button is and where the five button is so now if we hit the five button okay hold on now let's go back to this so now if we hit the five button it remembered where five button was it was on that black glass now it's moving left so that's kind of a sucky workaround but it works nonetheless um, oh yeah and then there's run with this button pushed down and crouch so yeah and the start menu so everything works like a charm um, let's get out of here so everything works like a charm but uh, Another way to do this kind of workaround thing, which I think I like better, is to set up a different cycle command. So we're going to do one, or sorry, let's start on button six again. We're going to do one through, let's see, four. Now it's always going to flip one through four in the same way. And then this one we're going to do five through nine and it's going to do in the exact same way so from left to right so it's kind of less confusing in that way and now let's launch this guy up just to kind of demonstrate because Now, the reason I like this better is because you can have something assigned from 1 through 4. So, for example, let's go back in there. So you can have um, 1 through 4. You can have, like, all your weapons. And then from 5 through 9, you can have all your building blocks or food and all that kind of stuff. So that makes it easier for, let's say, when you're exploring in survival mode and all of a sudden a skeleton shows up and then you want your weapons really quick, then you can just flip through your weapons easily. You know it's going left to right and you know that you just have to push the one button that has the, uh, the weapons rather than on the other side which has your building blocks and food and stuff so i like it better that way again they're both workarounds which kind of sucks but 
that's kind of the way it has to be done. So nevertheless, um, yeah, so I've, uh, let's see here. I'm going to export this newish profile. It's going to replace that. And now I'm going to have this thing that you can import into your profiler here on uh, my website here. And if you go, I'm going to put this link in the description as well. So you go to my website and go to games part, and it's going to be right here. And that's where you download this file, which you import into here, and then everything works all hunky-dory. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, I will probably start using it, using the controller in Minecraft just for fun, because it's, it's a lot more fun to play games on a controller than it is on your keyboard and all that stuff. It makes it just a little bit more sweet and awesome. But anywho, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. Uh, leave a like, have a share, make a share, do what you will, and take care. Bye-bye now.